them second up on the 17th of September. That's a Sunday down in Nice. Here's George Ford. Tulangi again, hard and straight. Fiji have come offside, so it's a penalty advantage. There is the Odan again, up to the 22. It's a, a free hit, if you like, this time for England. Ford, here's Freddie Stewart. Naithalevu, the captain, makes the tackle. There's Ford again on to Ben Earl. Ball's gone loose, he went backwards. That's Malins this, this time. Still playing that advantage, Maruatoji taking the contact. Offside, back set the line out. Come here. The rain actually coming down now. Dramatic shift, it really was uh, gorgeous done just 15 minutes ago. Comfortable start for the England fly half. You remember that, Dowie, here in against France, France when England most, leaked 50 points and more. The biggest loss ever at Twickenham, yes, I do remember that. It's a good scrum from, from uh, England, off they go again. Another penalty, space here for Johnny May, takes off towards the line, and Johnny May has ended that backline drought. The Gloucester wing handed a World Cup lifeline by the injury to Anthony Watson. And Johnny May rolling back the years. Settle the nerves of Twickenham, settle his nerves again. It was uh, a good play from Mitchell. The penalty was coming from that very powerful scrum. Just one out and you've got to say it's weak tackling really from Ravu Thamanda on that right wing. He's gone far too high, and this is an easy score for May in a sense. You shouldn't be bounced off like that. You've got to go lower. Good scrum from Fiji again. Lamani. Advantage blue backs on side. Here's Randrandra. Floats it over the top. That's meant for Hambossi, who can shift. And he got around Stewart, didn't he? Here's Randrandra again. Caleb Munch to his side. It's an advantage being played here to the Fijians. The carry forward there from Bill Marta who was outstanding last week in that defeat in Nantes by France. Now there's some space, but then the pass went forward. There's Caleb Munts. Terrific kick from fully 45 metres. Fiji on the board. He started all the test matches so far this year for Fiji. Quite clear he's preferred to the two 32-year-olds one of whom is on the bench here, Titi Teller. The ninth phase, and sprinting through there is Rebel Thamanda. Thamanda onto his captain, and Fiji, through Waisia, Naithalebu, have conjured a little bit of brilliance. Wow. Again, we were complaining about the rain, complaining about the knock-ons, and... Uh... All of a sudden, from almost nowhere, what it was very good though. It's phase eight, was it phase nine, Martin? But they just again kept their, kept their shape, and that's two little steps. That shouldn't happen really with a good drift defense. I think hold on a second as Nayathaleva goes over there. You want to show me the last pass? Jakob Paper is looking at the last pass. Yes, Jakob, I just want to show you the last pass. Okay. Yes, Brian McNeese is the voice you heard there, the television match official. First and there's this pass from Rather Thuanda to Naithalebu. Ooh. Okay, it goes all out of the hands, doesn't it? You just watch where the hands are. Yeah. Just watch the hands. Yeah, so He's not pulled it back. It's got the just gone forward, so it has to be a forward, unfortunately. That's correct. That's uh, crossed off. But coming back to it, you see how dangerous they are. They thought that England had set their defence. Two steps, he's behind, and all of a sudden we know the pace and the power. Not happy. Here we go. Remember, England have never lost to Fiji. There's the Odan. At the tail of that driving ball, it's well orchestrated at the moment. Metre by metre. Now with Ellis Genge. Penalty advantage. Alex Mitchell just eyeing up for a moment the blind side. He wanted it there, did Stop the moving. England scrum half. 
another one, number one. Another penalty, that's a third one against Aroni Maui in a couple of minutes, Ford. Now the space, May, Maylin, search for the line, can he get there? Oh, I say. Number one. Everybody. Covered events, just saved the day. Everyone was aqua playing then. Maylin was, was going Indeed. in on his tummy. Pa is he going, papers to, his going to his pocket? <laughs> he is. is on the goal line, number one. Well, I did say Number it's one. a third penalty in about five minutes. Aroni Marwi has conceded. He's been called for. The yellow card is out. So Fiji almost 50% of the way through the Simbin period, and that didn't uh, work. But somehow the ball still ends up in the possession of the Fijians. Here goes Rondranda again. Floated pass. Out to Rabu Thamanda, Rabu Thamanda showing Johnny May a clean pair of heels and then the offload and with 14 men on the pitch for the second time this afternoon, the captain Waisea Naithalevu crosses the try line but on this occasion I think it's entirely legitimate. Well, there's a few people that haven't come back from the toilet, there's a few people that haven't come back, back from the bars, they need to see this again, this try, again it's something out of nothing, it's a big flip chart, Rarandra pops that ball over there to uh, Ravathamanda, who actually let Johnny May in for his score in the first half, and that's just a simple ball. England have come out in the second half and haven't turned on. That's a great score from May at the level, but again, it's innocuous okay. as May just pushed off this lad. This lad has just done the same. And to Johnny May, it's it's just the... Uh, there goes Kuravoli. Out there to the fullback, throw a CC. Oh, he's off and running, and look at Fiji here! Ambosi! I wonder... Could we be watching a little bit of rugby history emerging here? The coach at the moment unmoved. But once again, the defence just falling off. I'm, I'm lost for words in the sense that England okay, normally on. so, so good. They're falling. Han Bossi is lightning, as we know, but most of these Fijian guys, and especially if they you've got a, a number 11, 14 on your back, they just make something out of nothing. Yeah. There's nobody on the guard. Ben Earl is looking to the right-hand side. Look where the ball is. This guy doesn't need a second chance. Schools tries for fun. I think the whole country will be watching this. And I'm sure the message has got around. Oh, and that's put down by Johnny May, and then... Well, an advantage being played. That was Courtney Laws getting himself in the wrong spot. Advantage is over. Referee says the advantage is over, it was only a knock-on. On there too. A silla silla. No, you're over the top. <laughs> Penalty to Fiji. They'll take you three. Over the top. You've got players in this. And this is where England are stupid now. They can't stop themselves going in this, this the cookie jar. They produce outstanding individuals and now are putting together one of the world's best teams. That lead increases okay it's now 12 points players of quality of caliber that can change this around oh, and a basic error there from fiji out there from mitchell to marla who drives the ball forward well the headlines in the london newspapers is popped over the top that's one to deal with Although the referee is checking something. They are checking for offside. But Marcus Smith's involvement almost immediate. Oh, he's in front. I think he's in front. He can't see from that angle. Clearly, that's a grounding. There's no problem with that. But actually, I'm sure... Okay, Yaka, we're going to freeze this on the kick. Okay.
So that's level. That's level for me. Okay. He's, he's not clearly in front. Not clearly in front. George Ford adds the two points. England back in business. It is at the moment keeping England in this game. They're still stay five there, behind. Stay there, stay there. Approaching the hour mark. The weather has certainly improved. Rabotaman. Open space for the Fijians. A high tackle there from England. So there's a penalty coming. That was on to Tangi. Big heavily, thank you. Bounced off the shoulder. There's the fullback. Throw a sissy. Just high tackle. We'll take three here again. No need for it, really. Ball. Big job to sort it out because, again, it's no need for it. I mean, it's instinctive, but all of a sudden, what have you done? You scored a great try. You got back in the game. The crowd are uh, a little bit up. 20, last 20, last quarter of the game coming, and now you just give a pan away. Like I said, the way this boy is striking it, this isn't a give me, but we were just about to find out. Caleb Munts. Well, that right foot is working rather well. I told you about the fan converts. It's got a few people in the ground and switch sides. <laughs> no, 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 no. Mitchell again. Out to Ford. This time in the corner. And Joe Marchant, whose presence in this England squad is becoming ever more critical and it certainly is going to be valuable today they're starting to get back into it and England may just save their blushes well they needed something to happen and again it has come from Smith when this ball comes up you can see George Ford saying no 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 I don't want it that's I'm sorry the time before he was saying no Marchant gets in in the corner using his pace power a bit of panache at the end with the slap down, but uh, that's what England needed, that's what these fans needed. Galavetti Revovo standing in the midfield alongside Caleb Munts. Impossible to miss with those fluorescent orange boots. I wonder. He's the first receiver. Look at the power there from Fiji. He's being held up though, is Revovo. Now Fiji will get the ball. There's the ball, there's the ball. On that time to Koridua Dua. Can England just defend without giving a penalty? Well done, Emmett, no more. On the ball. Another metre made. Oh, and then it's spilt. And the ball claimed by David Ribbons and back here to Ford deep inside his own in goal area doesn't find touch though just find throw a CC very good defensive set from England once again the power though from the Fijians that time it's Release. Kawaka On to Mata. Away! DG, can they find a hero? I'm just watching Munts. He might go back for the drop, but at the moment they just want to keep this ball going. There's overlap here. Better, better, it's floated out, and this man has been dangerous all day. Oh, and the pass is freeze. Kurevoli. And once again, that England defence. It's found wanting. It's just mistake after mistake after mistake. It's all they're doing is just swinging their hips. England are just biting, they're just going, and they're not making any defensive. This is just a simple ball over the top. This guy's already scored, but he steps, he steps again. Dan Cole can't get anyone near him. And then he stay on the feet. They stay on their feet, they want to be alive, and all it is is a support runner calling for the ball. They don't want to die with it, but it's not ultra flamboyant. It's not any of these basketball passes with one hand. It's just 
guy supporting the guy with the ball. Watch what he's doing. I tell you what, I'll watch, I'll watch, I'll watch, and there I score. DG poised to make it four wins from five in 2023. Fine. It's there for care. On to Ford. Smith. Smith to Marchant. Marchant. Important tackle from Rebovo. But the time is out. Fiji can't be beaten. Whatever happens from here. And it's been turned over. And it's Caleb Munts who fires it into touch. England's fortress is the Temple of Doom. For England rugby fans, but it's time for a bit of Chopin. The atmosphere funereal. England has sunk to its nadir. But for Fiji, it is simply the greatest moment in their rugby history. A pause for reflection. Every one of these men in white, a Fijian hero. Final score at Twickenham, England 22, Fiji 13.